Hello friends and welcome to the screencast of C++ programming. Today we are discussing how to do operator overloading in C++. So like we saw in our uh, video from the C++ programming series, we have our we have created our n complex class. This is a class which is used to mimic the complex numbers in mathematics. For example, 2 plus 3i. This is the example of complex number, right? So they are two data members, n real, which represents the real part of the complex number, and n imaginary, which represents the imaginary part, right? We have written a parameterized constructor, right? In order to initialize our data members, which means we'll also provide a blank default constructor right once you write a parameterized constructor you also have to provide the default constructor i have left it blank because i don't really care how it is initialized here i'm more interested in my parameterized constructor right this is my display function which is nothing but going to display my complex number in this format real part plus plus sign imaginary part and followed by this i right now I have created two objects, C1 and C2, using my parameterized constructor. My C1 will represent complex number 2 plus 3i, and my C2 will represent the complex number 4 plus 5i. I have created this C3 using this default constructor, so my C3's uh, real part and imaginary part will be some garbage values. It doesn't matter because I'm going to use C3 to collect the addition of C1 and C2, right? Now, I expect the addition of my C1 and C2 to come out as 6 plus 8i because that's how we add two complex numbers. We add the real parts and we add the imaginary parts, right? Now, the problem is I cannot simply use this uh, arithmetic addition operator for adding objects of my n complex class because this operator only supports the primitive types such as integer, float, or double, right? So, as I said in the video, we need to overload this operator for it to be able to add two complex numbers of our n complex class, right? So, this call, because it's a binary operator, will be resolved as C3 equal to C1 will invoke the operator function, that is operator plus, and C2 will be passed as an argument. So, I'll write a function here. So, this is my function. n complex is the return type because the outcome of the addition process will be a comp n complex object a complex number so n complex is the return type name of the function is operator plus this is how you do operator overloading operator is the keyword followed by the operator that you want to overload in this case it is plus and then uh, one parameter i'm going to need is n complex type i'm using a reference because i just want to make an alias and I'm using constant because I don't want this function to even by mistake change the value of my operands. So I'm making it constant. So it is like pretty much read only, right? Now C will represent or C will be an alias to C2 in this call, right? C2 will become C and C1 as it is invoking this operator plus function c1 will be available inside this function in the form of this pointer so basically what i'm doing is that i'm adding the real part of c1 with the real part of c2 represented by c right and i'm adding the imaginary part of c1 represented by this pointer with the imaginary part of c which is representing c2 right uh, i'm storing that addition into a complex number which is a local object which I have created inside this function and I'm adding the real parts and storing it into the real part of this sum object and I'm adding the imaginary parts and I'm storing it into the imaginary data member of this sum object and then I'm returning the sum object which will be assigned to C3 here cool so this is how you overload the binary addition operator like we discussed in the video right so let's just quickly run this program and see the outcome it is 6 plus 8i the output is 6 plus 8i which is what we expected right now we can quickly go and overload the subtraction operator 
which will be very similar except we will just subtract right the values and yeah so we will just say c1 minus c2 here so in that case the call will be resolved as c1 dot operator minus c2 right so this is the function name operator minus and c2 is passed as an argument c1 will be invoking the function the at subtraction result expected should be 2 minus 4 real part is subtracted from real part so it should be minus 2 plus 3 minus 2i this is what i expect from my subtraction right so let's just run this code again so i'll just run this should be easy minus 2 plus minus 2i right now let us try to overload some unary operators so till now we only overloaded the binary operators binary operators means those which require two operands so in this case the two operands were c1 and c2 so let's try to overload a unary operator which requires only one operand so we'll do incrementation operator now so for example something like let's say how about something like c3 plus plus we would like to increment c3 and then display it so basically what we intend to do is we'll just increment the real and imaginary part by one when we say incrementation right so let us override this now this call really like c3 dot operator name of the operator will be plus plus so operator function will be plus plus with no parameters because this is a unary operator we don't need to pass any parameter just one parameter which is which will be used to invoke the operator function so let's write that so this will not basically return anything and we'll just say operator keyword plus plus we don't need any parameters and we'll just say what whichever object is going to invoke it will re receive it as this pointer so say this arrow in real plus plus so we'll increment it say this arrow an imaginary plus plus right and that's about it we can still see this error right so by default operator plus plus is considered as pre-increment operator so now this will work plus plus c3 right this will work because by default your this signature is considered as overloading operation for pre-increment because the same symbol is used for post incrementation so this is by default for pre incrementation in that case just to be on the safer side we'll just say plus plus uh, yeah. it doesn't make any difference right here but i'll we'll just do that right now what if we want to do post incrementation right so we have to write same exact same function basically just a, there's some little trick there we'll just do it in the post incrementation in the real and imaginary part right now there is a problem as you can see the problem is that these two overloaded functions are exactly same in their signatures right this is because <laughs> our uh, pre incrementation and post incrementation both use the same symbol same operator so they are got to be same both are unary so we don't need any parameter uh, both are not going to return anything so it has to be same but c++ compiler needs something to differentiate between these two overloaded function so all we got to do is we got to say int in our post incrementation uh, overloaded function will pass a dummy parameter right just mention it as int or you can name it int x or anything it doesn't matter so this is a dummy parameter that means this will not be used at all in your function code right so it's just there to differentiate between pre-incrementation overloaded function and post-incrementation overloaded function as i said the function definition without this dummy parameter will be used for pre-incrementation by c++ and the function definition with this dummy parameter integer will be used for post incrementation by c++ right and we'll call one display here incrementing and now post incrementing 
cool let's initialize let's create c3 with some default values let's say 1 comma 1 so that is that is basically saying 1 plus 1i that is our complex number represented by c3 right so we'll do a pre-incrementation on c3 and we'll do a post incrementation on c3 right so let's run this code and so pre-incrementing 2 plus 2i and then post incrementing 3 plus 3i so we've successfully carried out incrementation operation right in two ways pre-incrementation and post-incrementation. So this is how you overload the unary operators in C++.